knowing that I would be able to come here and that I would get an incredibly full scope training experience to be able to do whatever I wanted to do post-residency and still be able to do that while having such incredible support from my peers and faculty. There was no other option for me. It was inevitable that I would have to come here no matter what it took. I got to rotate here as a medical student and I really saw how interconnected and like a family everybody was and it really made me feel included even from the beginning as a medical student and I knew that was the culture that I wanted to be a part of as a resident. Our primary mission is to train quality full-spectrum family physicians. We recognize that this day and age um, family doctors don't always go out and do obstetrics or high-risk OB or uh, critical care medicine. There are people, much like myself when I was a resident, that still desire to do all that, want to take care of the whole family in all stages of their life. So we are committed to training a full-spectrum resident and giving them all the tools they need to go out and do whatever they want after graduation, and that their training definitely will never be a limiting factor. The Santa Rosa Residency Program here allows a physician in training to first and get a, a good feel of what they're good at. Having a full scope program like we have here at Santa Rosa allows you to see that breadth of patients, to have that experience, and to also learn basic assessment, treatment, and then the ability to understand referral patterns and other care patterns from both the inpatient side, the outpatient side, and even into post-acute care to facilitate good care for those patients. When a new resident joins our program, they are assigned a faculty mentor who meets with them at least four times a year and often much more depending on the needs of, of that resident. I love our faculty. They're very transparent with us, you know, so they'll let us know. Uh, most of them are actually pretty blunt too, so they'll be sure to tell you when they know that you're not living up to your potential and when they know that there's room for you to grow and how you can embrace that growth so that we can be sure that throughout the progress of our residency program, we're growing to truly maximize our full potential, which I think is great. We just revamped our didactic schedule to have a more consistent schedule during afternoon learning sessions. So each day at noon, we have an hour-long didactic session where we go through different topics, whether that's OB, cardiology, nephrology. We'll have our specialists come and talk to us. The other thing that we do is on Thursday afternoons, we have a four-hour long didactic session. So we'll have a specialist come and talk to us and then walk through kind of the pathophysiology and treatment plan and how to individualize that for each patient. We have a very heavy inpatient curriculum. We get to follow our patients from the ER to the ICU and at discharge. We also have a very rigorous OB curriculum. We have very busy labor and delivery. We also get a lot of community referrals so that we have our own OB patients in our clinic. So residents get to have the experience of taking care of a woman throughout her entire pregnancy, being there when she delivers. And I think the best part as a family doctor is getting to see mom and baby together after they deliver and watching those kids grow usually do the majority of our pediatric care at the Children's Hospital of San Antonio downtown. We do see some pediatric patients in clinic all the time, but as far as our inpatient setting training, that's done at the Children's Hospital in collaboration with some of the residents from the Baylor College of Medicine Pediatrics Residency here in San Antonio. We see a lot of patients in clinic, so we see about a third of our patients um, as children in the clinic. Um, we get to do well care, we refer out, you know, if there's anything that we can't do there, we learn how to do circumcisions and all kinds of pediatric procedures as well. From beginning of life, as soon as they're born, we get to start taking care of them and work with specialists that train us how to do that. I think what's really unique about our program is that you see some camaraderie between all classes, regardless what year we're in and we're all very supportive of one another. I don't think there's ever been a rotation where I haven't had one of my second or third years check in and ask, how are you doing? Are you okay? How can I help you? Uh, what can we do to make this experience better for you? So I really love that we have just that transparency with one another and that we're very helpful and supportive of one another, even though we're each going through this experience that's truly very stressful and very busy time for all of us, but we always make it a point to check in on each other and see how we're doing. Resident wellness, physician wellness, is extremely important. 
We have a longitudinal curriculum and at the beginning of every academic year, we take a survey of residents and faculty and we see what the needs are. And then we set up both in the classroom curriculum and then at least once a month, we also try and get outside of the residency program and do things that also make us feel well and whole and rejuvenate. And it might be hiking, it might be going to restaurants, but really trying to get to know each other outside of the residency program. So I had really never been to San Antonio very much before coming here, but I love the culture. I love all of the traditions that they have. I'm really excited to experience Fiesta for the first time in the spring. And there's so much greenery, there's so many trees and a lot of wildlife. And I love the food, the, you know, it's a part of the culture here. It's strange. It's a big city with a small town feel. Anywhere you go, you feel very well welcomed. You know, you can train anyone in medicine and you can work as hard as you can, but I think it's the people here that truly make the work fun and worth it, and the long hours really fun and worth it. I don't think you can find that anywhere. I think Christmas is very special in the people that we attract here.